Mm-hmm. Uh, greetings, dear friends in Christ, and a most blessed new year to you. And I'm joining you today with my lovely wife, Dervila. It is such a joy to gather online for a couple of hours to hear testimonies and to have fellowship. Today, we have considered marriage of faith and the house church through a special lecture from Dr. Augustine Sa and the powerful testimonies of Joshua and Mary John of Austin, Texas, and Rebecca Lee of Springfield, Illinois. Thank you to our presenters for your labor in the Lord and for being a blessing to us today. Since we have had three presentations, I will keep my comments brief. We have seen how God is at work to establish marriages centered on Christ, which are house churches. In a house church, husbands love their wives as Christ loves the church, and wives respect their husbands as they do the Lord. And through them, Christ's love, beauty, and glory is revealed to the world. And our world needs Christ more than ever. It seems to have gone mad through the devil's deceptions. Some people are trying to redefine marriage and even gender in anti-biblical ways. According to data published by the U.S. Census, the median age at which people marry for the first time is rising steadily. People are waiting longer and longer to get married and many have given up on marriage altogether. Yet as God speaks the truth in love through house churches, the gospel advances through them. The other day I learned that one of the nicknames of Generation Z, those born from 1997 to 2012, is True Gen. Researchers concluded that they are seeking the truth through experience. They don't respond well to mere talk, and they don't trust institutions or broad narratives. At the same time, they are confused in matters of morality and humanity. But they are eager to experience the truth in reality. To them, seeing marriage by faith and a Christ-centered house church is so powerful. It reveals Christ in reality. And Christ is so attractive in this dark world. Many young people in Gen Z can come to Christ when they see marriages of faith and house churches. Last month, my wife and I had the privilege of attending the wedding of Daniel and Lisa Kim in Moscow. It was beautiful and most blessed. Although Lisa is just 19 years old, She has given her life to Christ and married by faith in obedience to God's calling for her. Daniel is handsome, intelligent, kind, and faithful. But she did not marry him just for those reasons. She gave herself to Christ as an act of obedience, and Christ blessed her with Daniel. She looks like Rebecca in the Bible. Her practical faith has impacted her friends. About 20 of them attended her wedding ceremony in person. The Moscow Center was filled with young women college students. They could see real faith in Christ lived out through Lisa. One of them, her one-to-one Bible student, Lara, has grown in faith and shared a life testimony at the Moscow Sunday worship service. Now Lisa is a missionary to Canada, and she and Daniel pray to share the gospel with college students in Vancouver. I am sure that they will be a blessing to many through their faith. History shows us the profound impact house churches have made. Apostle Peter wrote his first epistle to scattered Christians in times of Roman rule. Peter spent considerable time instructing women how to win their husbands to the Lord. And as these women took these words to heart, many of them turned their homes into house churches. 
their influence was one of the key factors in transforming the Roman Empire into Christendom. During dark times in church history, house churches have maintained Christian faith and impacted the world for Christ. Thus far, God has used UBF ministry to establish hundreds of marriages by faith and house churches throughout North America. It is in answer to the prayer of our founder, Dr. Samuel Lee, who prayed for 10,000 house churches to be raised. It is not easy to practice God's truth in our times, but let's continue to do so. Ungodly human ideas come and go, but God's truth remains to the end. As 1 Peter 1.24 says, For all people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And God is establishing his beloved house churches on the word of the Lord. Let's keep holding on to the word of the Lord and pray for raising house churches.